Welcome back to our daily devotions today. Every week our daily devotions follow a theme for the week and this week I wanted to think about holiness and we'll think through it through the week. Firstly we're going to think about the holiness of God, the otherness of God, what makes him different from everything else in this world. Secondly we're going to consider the holy meeting place those moments where heaven and earth touch. Thirdly, we're going to look at Jesus, holiness in human form. Fourthly, we're going to think about holiness and separation from God through sin. Fifthly, we think about being made new in God, God being the source of holiness and placing that holiness in us. And sixthly and finally, we will think about how we can journey a life seeking holiness, even in lockdown. Now, I hope that this topic excites you. Holiness is something that needs to be at the centre of the Christian personal life and corporate life. So firstly, the holiness of God. When God is described as holy in the Old Testament, the word kadosh has these resonances. It implies being set apart, separated, holy other, and different from everything else that has been made. It might seem obvious to say that God is not the same as us, but it's an important distinction as we start this week that holiness is not being a bit better. Or if you know your millennial lingo, it's not living your best life. Holiness is holy otherness, something completely different from the things of this world. There's a scene from Exodus 33 where Moses asks to see God's glory. And God says this to him, I will make all my goodness pass before you and will proclaim before you the name the Lord and I will be gracious to whom I'll be gracious and will show mercy on whom I show mercy. But he said, you cannot see my face, for no one shall see me and live. And so Moses hides in the cleft of a rock and God passes by. There's an innate assumption right from the start of the Old Testament that the awesomeness of God is just too much to perceive. It would have just been too much for him to have been able to cope with. So let's remember this as we think about holiness through the week, when we think about the holiness of Jesus, when we think about holiness in ourselves later in the week, that holiness in its fullest and unbounded form is just too awesome to even be in the presence of. Today I'm going to end in a book recommendation for anyone who would like a Christian book to be reading at this time. It's a book on holiness. It's by Simon Ponsonby. It's called Different Living the Holy Life. If you're interested in reading more on the topic of holiness, this is a great book to be uh, reading about. Um, the title will be in the description underneath the, the video on YouTube. You can see it down there. Now, shall we pray for a few moments? Lord God, we thank you for your awesome holiness. Teach us to gaze in wonder at you. Help us to not be overwhelmed by the contrast between us and you. And finally, encourage us as we seek to love you more and are formed into your likeness. For we ask these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. We'll do tune in again tomorrow when we start to thinking about the holy meeting place.